Grandpa Newby reporting for duty with Season 3, Week 6 Challenges. And it's a tale of woe. But anyway, let's get into it. Really, you need four weapons. A battle rifle, and we'll group these challenges together. Only two qualify, the Subverter and the MTZ-762. We'll get the 15 headshots, 20 moving kills while aiming down sights, and then 20 operator kills, a recommended weapon set to single fire. You don't have to use a battle rifle. It's a bit more po uh, powerful, though. And I use the SOA Subverter. As far as the SMGs, six qualify. There they are. I use the Horus. You need 15 hip fire kills suppressed and 25 operator kills with sights to the equipped to the SMG. Really only need 25 kills because if you put a sight on the SMG and you hip fire, it counts. And there's my configuration. And then the others you need the cat. One shot suppressed with a cat, 15 quick scopes with the MCW. That was the tale of woe. I could not figure out how to get that done. And I'll show you towards the end how that all went through. And there's the cat configuration. And there's the MCW configuration. So getting into it, I set the SO Wave Subverter to single shot so I could do three and one potentially. And boy, I was getting gacked. I mean, it made a dog's breakfast out of my game. The SO Wave Subverter is not that powerful in single shot mode. I mean, it doesn't up the damage or anything like that. I mean, that lady in the tactical evening gown just absolutely went to town on me. That was a three for one, though, a single shot ADS while moving and a head shot. So 25 kills minimum to erase three items. And you can see we're very well along the way lighting up the scoreboard there. Now... <laughs> I got most of the way through that game before realizing I wasn't single shot, so wasn't doing myself a whole lot of good there. And there are the 20 kills while aiming down sights moving. And we still have seven more kills in the single fire mode. We did light up some of the headshots, so there we are back with the dog's breakfast, single shooting can't wait to be able to turn the thing to fully auto because it was just a dying machine and there we go single fire mode 25 kills didn't have to use a battle rifle but we did and the enemy was shocked because i had been an easy mark before but old grandpa he got the noggin shots he got the chest shots he got the face shots and there we are we're just going for headshots here. Should be pretty easy. We're on Das House. Das Kopf. Head in German is Kopf. We're going to go for the Kopf. She's in. Probably said that wrong, but there we are. The headshots fall away. We'll switch to an SMG at this point. Get two for one because we put a sight on it. And we're going to hip fire. We need 15 of the hip fires. There, I'm reminding myself, just in case I forget. Just walking around, gacking away, playing gack-a-mole with these guys. As I recall in this game, they were running around the edges just going for kills and streaks. We were trying to win the game. Usually do. The Horus is a gack -a machine. There we go. Play with that, guys. And what are you just standing there looking for us to come through? We just about finished. Completed. We did complete the headshots. We we got well on the way with the SMGs. And I took a break from the SMGs for a second because I've got rust, and that's a good time to let the cat meow. So I pulled out the cat. I figured I could probably get 15 one-shot kills. And remember, they have to be one-shot kills. If the guy's already wounded, that's not a one-shot kill. 
So you're going to, this may take more than 15 shots, but it takes about half a game of rust. Hard point. Oh, that guy was gacking me with the KVD enforcer. But about halfway through the game, we're going to finish these out. And I got very few flash completion notices this time. There's the AMR, 15 one-shot kills. That was the easiest one, and they made it worth 10,000 XP as if it was going to be the hardest. And now we're just shooting from the hip. Somebody jumps down. <laughs> He's looking at me for me in the wrong place. It's not going to take long to get these SMGs done. And then we'll only have one more. There we go. The hip fires are completed. Now we just have to aim down sight with the SMG and get a few more GAX. Six to be exact. And so we'll complete three of the six on this one map. That doesn't count. That does. And there we are, 25. So we completed three on one map. Pretty good. Now we switch to the MCW and we go for the quick scope kills. I thought that would be one. No. A viewer in the community reached out to me and said this, use a scope. Well, I'd use the Entlets, it didn't work. But guess what? The SZSRO7 counted. So it took a game and a half of quick scoping with the MCW in the single shot mode to get it completed. That actually counted there. So there we are. Everything's completed. Yay us. I thought that the information provided was scant and it wasn't robust enough to be able to complete that challenge because my scope didn't work. Anyway, there it is. The Jack Atlas kit. Don't see what it does. I guess I'll dig into that and I'll have a video tomorrow on it. That's the stock from the Jack Cutthroat. So we'll take it out and have a quick look at it in the shooting range. A lot of recoil and a lot of idle sway. It'll be fun to give it a whirl and free for all tomorrow. Distance gacking might be an issue. Please like and subscribe. Helps me, helps family. Peace.